Good morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10. I'm David Lovejoy. And I'm Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. But, you know, there's no secret around here. We have Wednesday Wednesday where we bring in a, uh, a pet from Amarillo Animal Management and Welfare. But uh, many people see their pets as, as part of the family and they try to provide them with some of the best things they can do. Uh, when it comes to health and being pampered, but what's the next big thing? There's always something on the horizon. Uh, we're going to go live to Las Vegas this morning and Super Zoo Pet Retailers, largest event in North America. Uh, we're joined today by Mike and Christine. Uh, Mike is the World Pet Association SVP of event. Ms. Johnson is a pet trend expert. Welcome to the chat. How are y'all doing this morning? Fantastic. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank you. You know, uh, tell me about your Super Zoo. Exactly what is it? Well, Super Zoo is here in Las Vegas. We're at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. It's North America's pet, uh, largest pet products marketplace, as you said. Um, we do over 330,000 square feet of exhibiting companies. And to give you some kind of reference, that's about 17 football fields full of companies exhibiting the latest in pet products. Retailers come to this show to find the hottest new items that they're going to have in their stores in the coming months. That's a lot of chew toys. That's a whole lot of chew toys. Yeah, how about right that? That's Christine, what are some of the hottest trends right now we're seeing at SuperZoo this year? Yes, so you mentioned we're seeing pets more and more as members of the family, and that is apparent walking across the show floor. I think a really great example of that is this new board game from Westpaw. It's the Dog's Best Friend board game, and your dog is actually a player in the game, so you can finally invite them to your family game night. Uh, and it's not all just fun and games here at SuperZoo. We also really care about our pets' health. And the food trends that we're seeing at SuperZoo echo the trends that we're seeing in the humor, human world with cleaner ingredient panels, fewer artificial ingredients, and more single ingredient products like this line of treats from Barkin. They just debuted at the show yesterday. Uh, they are a single ingredient line. They have no artificial ingredients, no preservatives, which is really great for pets like mine that have allergies or food sensitivities. And then with that decrease in preserv preservatives, we have to be more mindful about food storage. So we're seeing more products like this storage container from, from Cadet. Uh, they have, if you can completely vacuum seal the dry food inside of it. So if you're buying that preservative free food, you don't have to worry about it going bad. Mm, that is a big deal. And you see more and more of those, uh, the fresh option for pets they are becoming a really popular thing. You know, absolutely. You know, we're, we're talking so much about technology these days. Just how is AI playing into this, in, into the pet world? AI is all anybody can talk about these days. <laughs> and it's here at Super Zoo, too. Uh, over here, we've got an automatic cat feeder from Pet Kit. It has a built in camera with AI powered video recording. So you can sense when your cat is eating or playing in its field of view, and it automatically sends updates to your phone. It can even sense how much food is left in its food tray to avoid overfeeding your cat uh, and reducing that food waste. And then another cool tech product that we found is this pet activity tracker from Honeywell. It's like a Fitbit for your dog. It oh. fits like a collar and tracks how active they are, how many steps they've taken, how many calories they've burned each day and it also has gps technology built in so you can geofence your yard and get an alert anytime they go outside the boundary so it's great for their health and also for their safety mike christine this question is for both of you uh you know they, they play a large role in our life whether it be a dog cat parakeet goldfish what, whatever your pet may be what what's usually the top of mind issues uh and also what you're hearing there at this year's event What's the top of mind for pet parents right now? What's, what's, what things are they really focusing in on or what's of the utmost importance to them? Well, uh, the pet industry, it, uh, consumers spend over $100 billion on pet products every single year. And one thing that's proven to move the needle on that is sustainability. People are more willing to pay more for sustainable products. And we're seeing that being embraced across the show floor with more companies leaning into sustainable practices and more alternative ingredient products or alternative protein products like this line from Jiminy's. Uh, they use cricket protein and grub protein uh, in their line of dog food and dog treats. Uh, it's, a, it's a much more 
sustainable source of protein than chicken or beef, which requires more land, more water, more resources. Uh, they also uh, generate fewer greenhouse gas emissions. There And cricket and insect protein is actually very nutritious for dogs. So that's a great example. Uh, and then another product that's very mission driven is this line of uh, hair and skin care products for dogs and cats from Project Suds. They don't use any single-use plastics. They reduce their packaging as much as possible, and they even donate the ends of every batch of soap to their local community. So it's great for our pets and also great for the planet. You know, I, I was just noticing it seemed like you had, I think that was relief balm or something like that. That sounds like something I would use on myself. Uh, <laughs> but really, I'm serious, you know. But when you think about stuff like that, uh, people, you have to take an idea that animals do get sick and they have the problems that us older Americans have. Uh, are we seeing an excitement in the product-driven world with ideas and products coming up like that, like that bomb? Yeah, you see, you see products on the trade show floor just like you would in, in any uh, human activities. They, they range the gamut from puppies to older animals. Yeah, and, uh, you know, a lot of the exhibitors here, they're using more and more human-grade products. Like I mentioned, cleaner ingredients, mm -hmm. more human-grade ingredients. So things that, you know, the Jiminy's people at their booth are actually eating this stuff themselves. Whoa. The people for Project Suds, they mentioned they use that on their own hair, and their hair looked amazing. So, uh, <laughs> Best in show, I guess you could say. Uh, that's, and, and we've seen that before. When somebody will take a milk bone and eat it, and you just look at them like, okay, but I, it just amazes me. They're, they're eating their food, their pet food. They're, they're just like, yeah, it's good enough for us. They believe in it, yeah. Wow, that's Whoa. amazing. Mike, where can we go for more information? Where can we find out more uh, about you can go to, Cheers member? Uh, you can go to superzoo.org, have all the information about this fantastic show for uh, retailers and people in the pet industry. Wow. Uh, Ms. Christine, how much was the amount you say we spend here in the U.S. each year? How many billion? A hundred billion dollars on pet products every year, Americans, yeah. That's wow. a lot of sweaters. That's a lot of milk <laughs> bones right there. 